By September 1939, it housed the government code in cipher school and about 200 people who'd just been handed an impossible task. Break Enigma Read Germany's military communications. Do it before Britain lost the war. The Enigma machine looked like a typewriter in a wooden box. Press a key, an electrical current flowed through a plug board, then through three rotors that could be arranged in any of 60 different positions, each rotor having 26 possible starting positions. A light bulb illuminated a letter. That was your cipher. The rotors advanced with each keystroke, changing the encryption constantly. The mathematics were staggering. With three rotors from a set of five, plus the plug board connections, Enigma had over 158 million, million, million possible settings. The Germans believed it was unbreakable. They were wrong, but only barely. Polish cryptanalysts had broken early Enigma versions in 1932, working in secret for seven years. In July 1939, with German invasion imminent, they shared everything with British and French intelligence. They handed over working Enigma replicas, their methods, their insights. It was one of the most consequential intelligence gifts in history. But the Germans kept improving the system. New rotors, more complex plug board settings. Naval Enigma added a fourth rotor. Each change meant starting over.